This is the Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a relatively old EVA rim cylinder. Now this is not a model that I'm familiar with, and I only know that it's an EVA product because of the key that came with it, which has the EVA name on it. Now looking at this key, we can see that the bidding is relatively disappointing. Certainly nothing that we're going to have any trouble reaching with a standard pick, particularly in this relatively open keyway. We can also see that it is a five pin lock, though I do have to say, even though it's five pins with an open keyway, I did pick it once before starting this video and it put up a bit of a fight. All five pins are security pins and the tolerances on this lock are quite good. So let's get some tension in here and get to picking. I'm using bottom of the keyway tension with a thick and wide wiper insert and a Peterson standard hook in 25 thousandths. Okay, number one is loose, two is loose, three is loose, same on four. Okay, five is binding, getting a little bit of counter rotation on him. Okay, and we set five and got a false set on the core. So let's go back to the beginning, counter rotation on one. And I think I got one set, but we lost our false set. Two is loose, three. Okay, three gave us our false set back and it's given me some counter rotation now. Okay, got three set, nothing on four or five, back to the beginning, nothing on one. Okay, two's given me counter rotation now. Okay, I think we got two set. Nothing on three, four, or five, back to the beginning. Nothing on one. Okay, no, I guess it was two. I didn't quite get him. There we go and the lock is open. So as you can see, a relatively old lock with an open keyway and just five pins, but it put up some fight. So let's take it apart and see what was giving us the trouble. Okay, looks like we've got a C-clip on the back. Okay, got that off. Now let's get the key and a follower. Hopefully we'll open this up easily. Okay, let's dump these key pins out. One and two both look like they have tapered tops. Same on three four and five. Let's arrange these and then, then we'll get the driver pins out. Okay, number one is a mushroom with an incredibly deep waist on it. Same on two, same on three, Same for four and number five is also a mushroom pin but with a waist that's much much wider. Okay let me give you a close-up of these pins. As you can see all of the key pins have tapered tops. Those tapered tops tend to make oversets very, very easy, though we didn't appear to run into that problem this time around. Then on the driver pins, we have mushroom pins with some of the narrowest waists I've ever seen in slots one through four. And then we have a mushroom pin in slot five as well with a re relatively wide waist on it. 
Moving over to the core, we can see, looks like there's some filing done on the very top of that core and nothing else unusual about it. If you're interested, that is what the keyway looks like, as I mentioned, relatively open. Okay, that's all I have for you on this vintage EVA rim cylinder. I'm glad I came across this lock. I have never seen pinning, pinning like that in any lock, I don't think, and certainly not in an EVA before. So, very interesting to me. If you have any questions or comments about this lock, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.